and congratulations to the Boston Celtics for now going up 3-0 and over the Nets. None of these games have been blowouts, which is a little surprising to me considering how shallow this Nets team looks on paper and how consistently the Celtics just blew out teams throughout the second half of the regular season. But <clears throat> it's really, excuse me, <clears throat> it, it's really the defense um, and the system they've decided on of let the other guys have the open shots, just keep KD and Kyrie out of this game. It will get in their head. It will mess with their offensive potential and capabilities. And maybe we'll give up a bunch of open threes, but down the stretch, this team is going to be out of sorts, off their game, no mojo, and we're going to win it. And that's what's happened every time. This game especially noteworthy with KD getting just 11 shots. And it, like Jason Tatum did not have a high efficient field goal percentage in this game, but he was a consistent part of this team's offense. It got him looks at the free throw line. And it just kept this offense running smoothly. The motion of the ball, the handoffs, the kicks from the perimeter. Like even if he's missing floaters, even if he's taking a couple threes that are maybe a bit too contested, the Celtics offense is overall running better for it. Whereas KD just seemed to be happy to settle for the open shots he was gifted um, when the Celtics defense fell apart and then to just use his gravity to defer, not bad playmaking from him, but for him and Kyrie, two score first guys just don't seem to be able to um, like get their head in the mm -hmm. proper, the way a James Harden is able to understand his gravity and maximize it. Uh, and I think, as much as we love Steve Nash, there is a bit of a coaching um, ideology clash with that mentality of play that those two superstars have because that the fourth quarter interview when asked about how their offense is going, he, he sounds happy with the open shots their role players are getting. And uh, now I'm kind of eating my words because this is the opposite of what I just said about John Morant, but I don't think the Nets and the Grizzlies are the same team. Um, and the Nets just, they're not getting perfect games from Brown, Drogic, Curry, and Mills all on the same mm -hmm. night. Two, two, three of those guys doing great, um, but it's just still not enough. Uh, Curry, the one yesterday who didn't carry his share, and it just adds up and shows meanwhile on the Celtics offense it just runs um Brown I don't have a ton to say about it other than that this Nets defense couldn't get a full enough handle on it um they just have whatever matchup they want like a Tatum or a Brown or a Williams or a Horford or a tie someone's getting that post matchup against this undersized team and with the defense they play, that's been good enough offensively. So uh, do you have a prediction on if the Nets can avoid the sweep? Well, I it, it comes down to some of the shot selection. I think if they can get Katie and Kyrie off the ball a little bit more and getting shots off the of screens, getting shots off the of cuts, um, getting them touches where they're going downhill towards the rim and getting fouled, getting free throws, there's a possibility for the win this game. I tend to be inclined that the Celtics will finish things out just with the way that the Nets don't even have that home crowd that can really boost them the same way that a lot of these other teams do. Wouldn't be surprised either way if either team won, but I, I, I tend to lean towards Boston here. Kevin Durant, man, it, it's been rough and he's supposed to be the guy who can get you 30, no matter what the type of defense that's being played. And he has not done that. And everyone now has taken their turn, given him his, uh, his flack, but kind of like John okay. Morant. Yeah, this is, this is, if this was LeBron, uh, the Twitter would be on fire. He would be, he would be burning man. <laughs> it's, it is crazy that he can put up this kind of performance uh, and, and not expect to get flamed up for it because of the fact that he, that the whole reason he left Golden State 
the he wanted to be that dude and he hasn't been that dude in this series and now it'll that'll be what three two years three years in brooklyn with uh we'll say two you can't count the injured year yeah with no results with no results yeah but luckily I, they'll have ben simmons for game four. Oh wait no he backed out he was too scared so good times there as well it, he's gonna sit it, out the whole year yeah unbelievable he's still gonna make millions on millions of dollars uh the kd like Kyrie as heavily and aggressively defended as he was his style of play he still pushed the pace he attacked when they were a second behind he tried to like get just move anytime he had open space but like i know he's not built for it kd but there's just no urgency in his offense no hustle uh tatum did a fantastic job every time they tried to bounce the ball to him uh just taking advantage of like the um drawbacks of KD's ridiculous height and reach he was able to poke the ball out from him and just disrupt him every time he was receiving a pass in the first quarter I think it made him really timid to call for it the other thing I wanted to touch on just quickly is this they're just switching everything the off-ball screens really aren't getting KD anywhere and chances are it's still like oh a Horford, a Brown, it's a guy with length that's switching on to KD and that's still giving him a hard time and still forcing him to make a really tough make, even if he does get the switch. Uh, There's just been no answers. And yeah, I I think normally once you've won a ring, your legacy can't really detract that much. But in KD's case, um, he can only be that guy if he's surrounded by superstars is what this series is kind of saying. Um, We will have to look at last year. Of course, he did have a good playoff. Oh, he was fan. He was phenomenal. But uh, against this better defensive Celtics team, suddenly when it's a Curry, when it's a Brown, when it's a Mills out there on the perimeter, not a Curry and a Thompson, um, That was a little confusing, but I think people will figure it out. I confused myself for a second. Um, He doesn't get the results and will have the final say when his career is all said and done, but I don't think that can be disregarded. We await game four of this series to make our final verdict on KD's hall of fame tier (laughs) maybe not that extreme but we'll finish up here 